Hi, this is an overview of the Rowenta cordless iron. Um, I'm just quickly taking it out of the box to show you. It has a giant plate to it that is the where it's going to get its charge and get reheated from. One of the disadvantages is that this plate needs to be close by, usually on the ironing board. So whereas with a normal iron, you're going to lift that iron and iron your clothes, this never leaves the iron So because it needs some place to recharge. Not a big deal, but just something to keep in mind, even because we think cordless means free from a cord. It doesn't necessarily mean free from the heating element. <laughs> so um, you'll plug this in. The iron needs a minute to heat up. Uh, while it's doing that, you can fill it with water. It's pretty easy to fill with water. The um, design to go right under your tap because of the um, vertical nature where the hole is. So th there it is right there. You just put it under the tap. This is a little bathroom sink. So it's very shallow and it still fits under there and it's a big hole. It fills up pretty quick <clears throat> and it stays pretty... Um, no water leaks from the front. Now, what I did notice is that some water did leak from uh, using it, just the, the steam part, the steam function. I'll show you some of that in a minute, but it's pretty lightweight. Um, it's thin. A lot of the uh, symbols are on the iron for you to remember, and uh, it has a burst of steam function. It also has, uh, and it's a little intuitive about where, un counterintuitive about how you turn the dial. Um, you have to look for a very light arrow on the dial, it, uh, right uh, on the iron itself. And I'll show you where that arrow is to make sure that you're looking at the right temperature gauge. Now, usually um, my other dials are at the very top toward the point of the iron. This arrow is near the back. Again, I'll show you where that is. Now, this is the plate. We're going to set it on the plate. It needs to blink green to tell you that it's ready. Um, now that's the dial you turn and you'll look at the, there's an arrow lower toward the camera that I'll, I'll zoom in for you, but that I'm not used to having it there. So I turned the dial the wrong way at first to get the thing to heat up. Um, it heats up pretty quickly. What I didn't like is that it seemed to need to sit on the plate for longer periods of time to really, it, it cooled down really quickly. So, especially if you're using steam, and that's normal, you know, because it's not, you're not, you know, sitting on a heating element. But to me, it seemed like I needed to do it a little too frequently. Now, I might need to get used to that, um, but it did seem like it cooled down a little frequently. Okay, so waiting for it, it's it's blinking green, it means it's ready. Um, but I realized that it, it kind of went fast on the, it heated up pretty fast. So I looked at this dial. See that arrow there on the actual iron itself? That is where I needed to turn my dial to maximum. Now see some of the dripping here. I wanted to show you some of that. That's coming from the front of the iron itself. Not the actual where you fill it up, but it's coming through the pores. Um, and that again could be because I don't have the iron hot enough. So um, there we go. See, we're getting some, getting some steam coming through. And it's on max because you can see the arrow down there. Uh, and this is no steam steam switch. So you can adjust your things accordingly. Okay, I'm doing a shirt here. And you can see there's a lot of moisture on the outside of this thing. And the, there's some coming out. See the holes on the shirt. Now, is that because the iron's cooling down too quickly? I'm not sure. But that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this that it does tend to let water out. So if you're working on silk, you gotta be careful or just don't put any water in the thing. Um, it does a nice burst of steam. It's really effective. Look at the moisture here. So you get a feel for it. To me, it's a little clumsy and, I, and I'm not sure that I wanna deal with all that um, moisture stuff but you know for somebody who needs to have a cordless uh, iron where they can i'm trying to think of the situations where a cordless here in this case is easier just because it's less things to trip over it might be worth a try otherwise i'm i'm thinking this is a little cumbersome